This is the second in our series of lectures on section 3.1, which deals with Cartesian products and relations. In this lecture, I'm going to talk about the inverse of a relation. Let me begin by doing an example of what is the inverse of a relation. So here we have this relation here. So this is a relation on the set of natural numbers. And the inverse of the relation is obtained by just simply reversing the order of all of the ordered pairs. So from 1, 3 in the original relation, we put 3, 1 in the inverse. 5, 17 goes to 17, 5. You just simply reverse the order of all of the entries of the original relation R. And we call that R inverse. So now here is the, the actual working definition. If R is a relation from set A to set B, then the inverse relation of R, and it's denoted in this way, it's what? Well, you take a typical element of the original relation and you just simply reverse the order. So it's the set of all ordered pairs Yx in B cross A such that Xy is an element of the original relation. So if R is any relation, um, it's clear from this definition that the inverse of R always exists. It's always a relation. And furthermore, since the domain of a relation is the set of all first elements and the range is the set of all second elements, then when we reverse the order of things to get our inverse, we can deduce easily this fact that the domain of our inverse is exactly the range of R and the range of our inverse is exactly the domain of R. Well, here's another example for you. Take uh, This is a relation on R. We take the x is related to y, provided y is equal to 3x minus 4. So is it the case that 1 is R related to 0? What does that mean? That means that 1 comma 0 is an element of the relation. So is it the case that 1, 0 satisfies this equation? If you replace x by 1, you get minus 1, you don't get 0. So the answer to this one is no. And now they ask, is minus 1 R inverse related to 1? Well, we just finished showing that 1 is R related to minus 1. That means 1 comma minus 1 is an element of the relation R. And therefore, if you reverse the order of that, and you write it as minus 1, 1, that is an element of R inverse. So the answer is yes, minus 1 is R inverse related to 1. Now let's find R inverse. So remember, R inverse is a set of ordered pairs, and we get it by just simply reversing the order of the x and the y in R. So what, what this is telling you is that if you know the first entry, if you know the x, then you can calculate the y by doing that calculation, by calculating y equals 3x minus 4. The question is, if you, were write it, if you were to write it in the reverse order, yx, the question is, how do you get x from y? And you'll do that by just simply solving for x in terms of y. x would equal y plus 4 divided by 3. So the relation r inverse uh, it looks like an ordered pair where the second entry um, is obtained from the first entry by adding 4 and then dividing by 3. So we're going to write it in this way. We're not going to write it as yx. We're going to write it as xy. So the second entry is obtained by adding 4 to the first entry and dividing by 3. So I hope you don't get confused by the use of the names xy here, and we're using the same names xy here. The point is, one can obtain the second entry by doing this operation on, on the first entry. Here's another example. This is again a relation on the set of real numbers. It's the set of all xy such that y is equal to x squared. So is it the case that 16 is r inverse related to 4? 
And is it also the case that 16 is R inverse related to minus 4? Well, we have to relate it back to R. So that's the same as asking, this is the same as asking, is 4 R related to 16? And it is because of this calculation here. If you replace x by 4, you really do get 16 out of it. And similarly, if you replace x by minus 4, you still get 16. So both of these are true, and that means that if you were to write down the relation R inverse, uh, the ordered pair 16, 4 would lie in that um, set, and similarly 16, comma minus 4 would lie in R inverse. So you do, do you see how to write down exactly what is R inverse? It's the set of ordered pairs that are either of the form x comma root x or x comma minus root x. Just as we had 16 comma 4 and we had 16 comma minus 4, um, this is the general, this, this would be, uh, these two would be the generic elements of R inverse.